All right, well, we got the this piece of steel, the sheet metal, bent up. And what I did is I cut down one inch and then cut down an inch over here. See that? Right. We got Cody out here. <laughs> Say hi, Cody. Oh, looks like you got a pretty thick piece of wood there. <laughs> so what I did is I then took uh, my cutting blade and I cut out a tiny little notch, rounded notch, right here. Then I drew a line going up to the end of the one inch cut that I put and then took my cutting saw didn't cut all the way through the metal just enough to create that weakness in the metal and then I took my pliers and then just bent it up so now I've got an angled edge or the angled fold right there and you can see this little divot right here what I did is I took two pieces of steel this one, here let me put the camera down. Just ignore the sound that I make. Just, just ignore the big loud sounds that you're going to be making? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if people will be able to ignore that. But anyways, I took two pieces of steel, these two big things, went like that, side by side, and put the steel over that notch that I cut out and then took a chisel and put a chisel in there and then hit it with a hammer and it created that dent. So now this whole piece of steel right here flexes like this. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking that expanded steel right there and I'm going to be cutting out whatever this area is right here. So I'm going to cut all that out and, uh, yeah. You're back getting stiff. All right, so let me uh, hack into that and fold the ends up and maybe, well, yeah, I'll have to tack it, tack weld it in a little, in a few spots and then I'll put some bracing underneath it. Alright, well I got it all cut and I'm going to have a quarter of an inch of it extending over a square tubing and then I'm going to be welding it into place. That far end right here, I'll probably put a piece of flat stock or maybe round stock right there so that way that has some strength to it instead of just being floppy. Alright guys, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I got that all placed in there took a little piece of one quarter inch rod stuck it in there welded that all up and it's all welded on the bottom and uh, you know what I'm gonna try something here there we go turn on my lights here on my camera see how close I can get to this stuff so you guys can see it oh yeah that does help a little bit that's cool if I cover up the lights yeah it's a little darker haha <laughs> Okay, but anyways, um, you can see that I welded there, and on the bottom side here also, welded that all up. Now I got these clamps holding in the sheet metal, and I'm going to rivet the sides of the sheet metal with the steel, these ones here. So I gotta find a little drill bit that'll fit these so I can drill in the holes and then stick these things in it. Joy! So what I'm gonna be doing now is putting on the legs and this is how I've gotten got it set up. I've got one of these little angle magnets holding it up and then I have a I have that little square plastic 
square right there. <laughs> and then I'm going to weld and then do the same thing over there on that one, that one, and then this one. Then I'm going to put it over on its side and then put that piece on. So, yeah. All right. So, now I just have these tacked in here. Uh oh, that was not. Hopefully she don't break on me. Now, uh, let's turn this over without it. Now since the height of just the steel on the cart is 20 inches, I'm going to make sure that I inlay or I measure inside here at 18 inches from the top on all four corners. I'm going to measure the inside of here and make sure that that's 18 inches. And then I'm going to tack it, go over to the next corner, measure it all out, tack it. And do the same thing with these two corners here. Tack everything before I weld it all solid. So. Alright guys, well just got this welded up and uh, for the floor of this I think what I'm going to do is I just went and I just checked to see what kind of steel I had and I really got to use up my junk that I got sitting over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece right here and I'm going to stick it, I'm going to measure it out going to go on top of the caster plates but the only problem is is that this corner right here is all messed up you see that so you have to cleave off this straight across and then I'm gonna have one big area right here left over and I don't know if that's gonna fit onto the uh, I don't know how well that's going to fit on the caster, the leftover part of the caster. But either way, I want to use this piece up because it's been sitting over there for a long, long time and I need to use it. I want to use it. Um, probably cut an extra piece of uh, angle iron and put it in the center so it's got some support. The casters will support the ends. And then. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll see. I'll cut it down. I'll put one support in here. If I think I need more than that, then I'll just do it that way too. Yeah. So let's get to it. Okay. Got that piece hacked off of there. Oh. Reminds me of something. I just can't. that off the side. Let's get it back up here. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. Got the piece of angle iron. Folded that on there already. Fits 
pretty decent over here. Uh, but over here, it's, yeah, oh well. It's good enough for government work, I tell ya. It is. You know, I just rest assured that the machine that you're riding on and the equipment you're using when you're in the military, it was all made by the lowest bidder. And that's how you know it's safe. So, all right, well. Yeah, that's good enough. It's not like I'm going to be putting anything heavy down in here anyways. It's just going to have a little can of oil. And if I ever do decide to put a, you know, put spare engines down here or whatever, who knows what I'll do with this thing. <laughs> but, yeah, alright. Now, yeah, I should put in the bracing under here. So that way when I go to put an engine down up here, that's not going to mess anything up. Yeah. We'll do that next. All right. Well, I was going to use angle iron on this, on these pieces here, but I realized that I have a bunch of stuff sitting over there, excess stuff that I cut up when I get done cutting off, you know, if I use an entire strip of something, and I've always got little pieces set up left over. So, yeah, that's what those pieces are, that square tubing right there. So I decided to use that instead. Then I had some half inch square tubing and put that as a spacer. So if you look how that's set up, I got that all welded in there. And that piece is flush. So now uh, it's time to clean this up and paint it. Yeah, what color should I paint it? Hmm. Oh wait, I gotta do the handle yet too. Duh. 